Hey crafters, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to make a fun reveal wheel card with a Halloween theme. Hope you enjoy! So I started with a piece of black paper that's four and a half inches by six inches and I just used some post-it note tape to secure it to my starry sky stencil. And then I used the silver stencil paste from Lawn Fawn and I applied this around the outside of the stencil. Only the outside of this will show, so there's no point wasting that stencil paste on the inside of the paper. And once I'd finished applying it, I just wiped off the excess stencil paste. And then I also used my spatula to make sure there was no stencil paste around the outside of the paper. And then I put this aside to dry. Now while I had my stencil paste out, I used another piece of black paper and applied the stencil paste horizontally with the same spatula. And I wanted this to be big enough to cut out some letters as well as to back the sentiment. So this piece is about three by five inches. And I just made sure that when I applied the stencil paste, I did it horizontally. And that way I have a nice smooth coverage of the black paper. Now, once I was happy with this, I set this aside to dry for about an hour until it was completely set. Meanwhile, I die cut my reveal wheel pieces and I used the rectangular puzzle piece fit it into the main reveal wheel template and die cut this. I also die cut another template piece and the two mechanism pieces. Now on the piece with the rectangular hole, I use some black soot distress ink and starting from the edges, I blended this distress ink onto the panel. Now the really neat thing about using Distress Ink over this piece once you've die cut it is that the stitching shows up as you can see on the edges there. Now you may also see the indentation at the top of the template where the rectangular puzzle piece fits in, but I'll be covering this with a sentiment later so it doesn't really matter. And I'm just going to continue applying this black soot distress ink around the whole piece and I'm concentrating on the edges so that it's darker on the outside and I'm trying to create a bit of an ombre effect so that the inside is a lot brighter and the outside is darker. It's very spooky and it's perfect for Halloween cards. So once I'm happy with that I'll just hold it up so you can see that stitching detail. I'm going to start my stamping. So I used a few stamps from the Perfectly Wicked Lawn Fawn set. So I stamped the three cats and I just used some Copic Friendly ink. This is Memento Tuxedo Black. And then I also stamped the Little Witch's Hat. And then I used the sentiment from the Reveal Wheel Family and Friends sentiment set. And this is Hope Your Day is Filled With. Now on my one of my mechanism pieces, I'm going to line up the reveal wheel template. This is perfect for that rectangular reveal wheel window. And I'm going to stamp a few of those tiny little sentiments from the Perfectly Wicked set. So one is spells and one is tricks. And then the third one will be frog's breath. And these sentiments work well both by themselves and also on those little bottles. Now to go beside the frog's breath, I'm going to use the little frog from the tiny fairy tale set and just use my chamois to remove his crown. And then I'll stamp that. And then I'm going to remove that template and color in those images. Now once they're colored in, I'm going to use my sparkle pen and just apply some sparkle around this whole panel. And then I'll set this aside to dry completely. And I'll just turn the light on there so you can see how sparkly this is 
when it catches the light. Just gorgeous. So now that my stencil paste is dry, I'll just show you one I did on white paper so you can see the different effects you can get depending on what kind of card you're making. Now I want to use this to add a frame to my sentiment as well as to cut out that rectangular reveal wheel piece and then also some letters from the Oliver stitched ABCs. And I also cut out the hashtag and that's from Oliver's stitched one, two, threes. So I thought it would be fun to do hashtag boo. And I did cut out an exclamation mark as well, but I ended up not using this in the finished card. So once I've cut out all those pieces, I went ahead and die cut a few more of each of those letters with some black card and I just glued those on top of each other to create a bit of dimension on the front of this finished card. Now that rectangular piece is from the Reveal Wheel Rectangle Window add-on and I really like how it gives a fancy look to the front of this card but you could always die cut a different shape on your Reveal Wheel if you prefer. So I went ahead and colored the cats off camera so that they're nice and colorful and it creates a bit of a contrast on this mostly black and silver card. And I just lined up where I wanted all the pieces to be. Before gluing them down, however, I wanted to do some more stamping. So I used this tiny little bat and this is from the Spooky Village set. It actually has a a smaller bat as well but this is the larger one and I just stamped this over the front of the card before gluing all the pieces down and then I glued everything down and put some foam squares behind the sentiment just to give it a bit of dimension so that the sentiment and the hashtag boo stand up a bit on the card so now I can attach the reveal wheel mechanism so I'm just going to use a mini brad to put the two circular pieces together. And then I'm going to use some foam squares that I've cut in half to put them onto that little circle piece. And once that foam squares are secured, I'm going to remove the backing paper and then I can line up the two pieces of the reveal wheel template with the circle mechanism in the middle. And that will just make sure that it's sitting in the right place. And then I can just make sure that it spins nicely before adding some foam squares. Now you could use a uh, foam tape if you prefer, but I just added uh, foam squares to the outside and put a few underneath the wheel as well. And I put these two foam squares deep. So I removed all the backing and put more foam squares on top. And that way there's enough room for the mechanism to move freely. And then I attached the two pieces together. And I just made sure that they were lined up perfectly before I pushed the uh, foam squares together. And now I've got a nice lined up mechanism. I can just double check that it's working perfectly. And then I'm going to glue this onto my starry sky background. And the reveal wheel set also comes with a little arrow. So I went ahead and die cut this with some white paper so that the recipient of my card would know to turn the dial. So I'm just going to glue this in place beside the dial there. And then I can adhere the whole thing onto my card base. And this is a five by seven inch card base, so it's a little bit too big, but what I'm going to do is just glue it in place and then I can trim off the excess. And I wanna give a little white border around the whole thing. And then once that's secured, I can cut off the excess. Now for the inside of my card, I'm going to use the Happy Halloween sentiment from the Spooky Village stamp set. This is the same stamp set that has that cute little bat. 
and I'm going to use that third cat on the inside of my card. And I'm just going to place him down and then I can decide where I want my some more of those spooky little bats to go. And then once I'm happy with them, I can adhere my cat in place. And now you can see the finished card. Hope your day is filled with spells, frog's breath, and tricks. And the inside of the card as well. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this video inspiring. If you haven't already, please subscribe so that you're notified whenever I post a new video. Have a crafty day!